What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Me and my dad have officially made it out here on Lake St. Clair, one of the best bass fishing lakes in the country. We just rolled up to the first spot. My dad's already back here casting, but we're really excited about being out here for 2019. This is one of the best lakes. There's always professional tournaments out here. So we're super excited about it. This is the first time we're out this year. So hopefully we can get on some good fish today. Some big smallmouth. Today we're gonna be working around all these shorelines and also a lot of marinas where there's steel barriers or steel walls. That's where the smallmouth or fish like to hang out. So we're gonna fish along those and hopefully get on a lot of fish today. See if we can get on one or two big smallmouth. Hey, how's it going guys? I'm out here with Dylan today, Extreme Outdoors. And we're out here on Lake St. Clair, early season. And we're gonna try to hook into some smallies. They like moving in. Probably be about another month, month and a half before they're really in here, but this is where they start coming in to spawn down by the mile roads. We're just north of there just a little bit right now. We're gonna try this first. It's the first spot we stopped south of uh, Hardy and Signs where we put in at. But the uh, baits we're going to use today that I've done well on early season is this chatter bait right here. It's called California Crawl. Put a little swim bait behind it, whatever you want to put on it. Works really well. Throw that out, buzz it off the bottom a couple times, and reel it in slow. And try different speeds with it until you figure out how they're wanting to hit it. So, and if that doesn't work, we got like three different baits we're gonna use today. This green uh, pumpkin tube works really good. Jigging that out the bottom. And this swim bait does really well. The swim baits really well, work well out here on St. Clair. So we're gonna try to attack them with that arsenal there and see what happens. Hopefully we tie into a nice small mouth or two or maybe yeah. more than that. We'll see what happens. And there's a lot of muskies out here too. Maybe we'll tie in one of those. Seems like every time we come on out, we tie in at least one. So, real nice day out here. The water temp's about 52 to 54 or something like that. And uh, we're gonna work on these shore lines and kind of hit the shallow areas and see what happens. If we don't do any good, we'll go a little deeper. But we're gonna try those areas first. All the way from uh, Metro, all the way down to the mouth of Detroit River. So that's what we're gonna cover today on the American side. Next time we're out here, we'll probably try the Canadian side because me and Dylan got a Canadian license about a month ago when we fished up there in the St. Clair River. So we'll give that a shot right now and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, Dad's on the first fish of the day. Huge complete smallie, complete, complete monster. We don't even have the net, do we? No net. Do you want me to try to grab it or are you gonna grab it? I can grab it again. I mean, that's a toad. Yeah, it is. Beautiful fish. I thought I had a log that's so big. First few good. casts, we've only been out here probably 20 minutes, if that. Come on up in here, big old butterball. <sighs> big fish. Holy crap, Dad. That's a toad. <laughs> Freaking football right there. Man, that's a giant. <laughs> that's sweet. What so, do you think he weighs? Oh, he's at least five. five yeah. And a half. He's heavy, man. Yeah, that's sweet. Good fish. Do you want to weigh it? Freaking toad. It is a monster. My dad's going to weigh it. First fish of the day. We've only been out here not even 20 minutes. My dad always finds the fish, no matter the lake. We're on Lake St. Clair right now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says 536. It's a monster. Sweet. First one of the year. I knew he's a five pounder. Look at that sucker. All right, well, we're gonna measure him real quick, see how long he is. He was 536. 20 inches. And around 20 inches. He's six inches wide. Six inches wide. <laughs> Man, that's a pig. All right, we're gonna turn him loose. That's a giant smaller. There he goes. <laughs> he did it. First one of the year. Ready to go. All right. Throw it in the point. Just it There you go. There's 
one. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. There's one. It's right there. Fish on. Is it fouling? Yeah, if that press. Okay. All right. Got a good one on right now. Big fish. First smallie of the year. Oh, that's a hog. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one. I got him. Sweet. <laughs> this is sweet. Beautiful fish, guys. Oh yeah, that's a total. We're just casting right along the break wall. And yeah, we're just sitting right along the break wall. It's a key this time of year. It yeah. eats up warmer and everything else quick. Check it out. Beautiful fish. Yeah, he's Just he's using nice. this um, swim bait right here. This white swim bait. Made just jigging it off I the think bottom. made by Mega Bass. Yep. The guys, we're going to measure him real quick. Yeah, he's around 19 inches. So, so beautiful fish. We're going to release him. Another smallie, I think, or it could be a largemouth. Whatever it is, it's big. It's a giant. It's a giant smallie. <laughs> big. Nice fish, Dad. We're on them, guys. This is three in the boat already. Or is that four? Four in the boat already. <laughs> nice fish, Dad. Thanks. It's probably like a, what do you think? I'd say high fours. Yeah, beautiful fish. All right, guys, we're releasing her. See ya. All right, guys, quick update. We are just rolling up to this new spot. Right now, we're working all these steel barriers, and also we're going into these marinas back here. A lot of fish like to hang out around these steel walls just because the sun is warming up the steel, and the steel's warming up the water, and that's where a lot of fish like to go in early spring. They're also looking for a place to spawn, and we're gonna throw some swim baits and some tubes in here and see if we can catch any big ones. Dad's on another one. We're in this marina right here. Another smallie. We're catching a bunch out here today. Early springtime fishing for smallmouth. Not a monster, but it's a fish. Yeah, nice one. All right, guys, Dad's on again. Feels like another big smallie. Right here on the break wall. Just using a tube this time. Sweet. Nice fish, Dad. His dad's got a muskie on. He's using a chatterbait right now, just throwing it right against that wall right there. First muskie of the year. Pretty muskie. All right, guys, we'll my dad's taking over the show today. He's got another smallie on, on the chatterbait. He's showing me what's up today. <laughs> Getting lucky. Yeah, nice fish. What's up guys we are just getting back home it was a blast out there today me and my dad completely destroyed the smallies or i guess you could say my dad did he always i don't know why it is but he always seems to catch more fish than me wherever we go whether it's florida michigan anywhere any lake 
He's the best. I guess I'm learning from him, so that's good. He teaches me a lot. So I really love fishing with him. But if you like this video, make sure to go give it a thumbs up. And also leave a comment below your biggest smallmouth ever. Let's see who has the biggest smallmouth ever. We'll see you guys in the next video.